I'm about to show you the best trip tight end defense in Madden 23, and it really isn't even close. You can literally run this specific defense that I'm about to share with you probably 80% of your time playing a good trip tight end player, and you will be successful. Now, if you want to get my entire $1.32 defensive ebook, we're going to put a link in the description. You can go over and join the Patreon. We're doing some really cool stuff in that dollar defense. That's not only going to teach you how to play better defense in Madden 23, but it's going to teach you the principles that you need to know in order to become a better defensive player going going into Madden 24. So if you want to become a Patreon member, now has not been, it's never been a better time to become a Patreon member because you're gonna get access to everything that we've done all year, all of the updates to all of that stuff, as well as all of the new stuff that we're dropping to prepare for Madden 24. So again, if you want to become a Patreon member, the link is in the description, $10 will get you access to everything. All right, guys, uh, so trips tied in. How do you stop trips tied in? Um, it's actually probably never been easier, in my opinion, uh, to defend trips tied in. Now, I'm in trips tied in offset, but we can, with Hot Rap Master, kind of recreate basically the same stuff uh, that you're going to be seeing if you are playing uh, any kind of trips tied in player. So I'm just going to come out in, um, we can just come out in levels, level sale here, and we got the PA crosser play in our audibles. Obviously, if someone audibles to trip side in, this defense will still apply. Uh, real quick, coaching adjustments, auto flip, we're going to have that off. Uh, you could put that on. We're going to have that off, but it, it you can do either one, okay? The only reason why I want it to be off is just because I want to be in control uh, based on hash marks uh, to, to put different, if I ever want to call something different. Uh, auto alignment, we're going to put that on base. Ball in our defense, you could uh, put this on anything you want. Honestly, I don't really notice a difference, uh, so I just leave this on balance. Cornerback matchups on balance. If someone's running read option, put this on conservative. I do it in, against head to head, but you know, typically you don't have to do that. Uh, and then uh, zone drops. I don't really use zone drops out of this. The one thing that you might do with trip set in, you don't have to do it as much because there's not as many like snap throw, quick throw wheel routes. But you could put these on zero and that will take away some of those snap throw wheels. We're not going to do that. Um, you could also justify putting these on five, these hook curls on five. What that'll do is that will play uh, slants a little bit better. But you really don't need that for what we're going to show you in trips. Now, um, I, the, the base defense, the foundation is the DB Fire 2 for this. And we're going to put an audible into our coverage adjustments here, which is the cover three cloud. Now, if your opponent, okay, if your opponent is ever wanting to run their, if they're running their trips like to the left every single time, then you want to come out in dollar flipped. If they're not running their trips to the left every single time and they're flipping to the wide side, you just want to make sure that where that light blue zone is, is always on the side that the trips formation is. That's the idea. Okay. Um, all right. So let's get into the setup. And again, we're going to primarily be showing you this out of DB Fire 2. And then we'll show you a couple modifications you can make out of Cover Through Cloud. All right. So the setup, what are we going to do? We're going to come out um, real quick. I'm going to, I'm going to respot the ball uh, just so that they can have their trips to the wide side of the field. I think that's best this year, but anyways, we're going to press. Okay. So we're base aligned. We're going to come out. We're going to press. This is the core alignment that you're going to get. Now with trips tied in, it's not exactly like, um, like a traditional compression set. You don't have to move these guys down, but they will play better in main coverage if you do move them down. So we're going to move this guy down. We're going to man him up on the outside trips receiver. Uh, we're going to move this guy down. We're going to man him up on the inside trips receiver. That's really important. Not the middle trips receiver, uh, but the B receiver, which in this case is going to be AJ Green. And then we're going to take that linebacker that is on the trip side, and we're going to man him up on that middle trips receiver. So you see, this is the core uh, alignment on the play. And then what we're going to do on that left side is you can you can kind of play some games with that soft squad on the left side. You could either um, put him in a hard flat, you could put him in a cloud flat, or you could put him in an outside quarter zone. Uh, the outside quarter zone will be very effective for handling uh, different types of corner routes, things like that. You could also justify putting him in a third. Like he's kind of like a versatile player that you can have uh, with trips. If you just think about like the way that it's ran. Typically, they're either trying to attack you in the flat on the trip side, which is the purpose of the hard flat, or they're trying to attack you to the corner on the trip side, which is the purpose of like the outside quarter or the deep third. And then really, um, and again, the cloud flat is also to kind of have that like split difference will help a lot with bracketing the tight end post route. All right. Now on the right side of the screen, all we're going to do is we're going to put a uh, essentially like a, a deep third over here on the right. And this is pretty much the defense. Like you could pretty much sit this all game. Now I will play some games uh, with them. If they start putting the running back on a route, like let's say they start putting their running back on a wheel, 
I might take that blitzing uh, player on that right side and man him up on the running back. Or let's say that, you know, whatever, maybe I just want to change the look or, um, you know, maybe they're picking up the blitz, right? I just want to play some more coverage. I'll put this guy in a vertical hook or I'll man him up on the tight end. So those are some alternate things uh, that you can do. The purpose of the vertical hook would be to defend the slant route from slant post. The purpose of the man up on the tight end would be basically to try to defend the post route from the tight end or any kind of seam streak. And then you would then user uh, the slant route from slant post. Another thing you can do is you can man that tight end up with that outside third defender uh, if you wanted to do that as well. Uh, but anyway, so those are some basic ideas. All right. So uh, what what route combos are the most popular route combos in trips tight end? Well, the first one is really this combo right here, uh, which is essentially a corner route to the left side of the screen. Now, if you shade your coverage outside, the man coverage will play that uh, that corner route relatively well. And they're going to have to block a running back at the very minimum to pick up the pressure. And typically you're going to get, you know, you might get a curl and a drag. You might get a drag and a slant, right? but basically you're gonna it's essentially a flood uh, to the left side of the field so here the cloud flat is going to help bracket that corner out uh, again right there that's just because i messed up my alignment or whatever but you should be based on press so it'd be fine uh, but anyway so you see here now if if they do motion that guy all the way across the field sometimes what i will do is i will then take this defender and man him up on that outside player. And then I'll take the linebacker and put him in a hard flat. That'll kind of help with that tight end drag. And then this is kind of my cue that they're probably not running slant post. So I'll put this guy in a third. So that's kind of how I will adjust uh, to that right side of the field. Now I know that I've got to be a little bit more on point uh, just in terms of the tight end. You could also man that tight end up with that linebacker right there, get a cross man going. Uh, but anyway, so this is the idea. So if they run this corner out, what you'll see here is by the time the pressure comes in, that's going to be a really hard throw to live on um, with this. And uh, again, I'm speaking from personal experience. Um, I've ran trips tight end for the last probably four years and this that corner route is just not always open. Now, again, I'm gonna kind of go ahead and do my adjustments ahead of time so that you can kind of see, um, you know, what we're working with here. And we'll just kind of run the, the standard adjustments. Uh, but what you'll see here is again, if they run that concept, now what you'll see is, you know, again, they gotta block the running back anyway. So they're only sitting four routes out. This corner route is just not very consistent. You see that right there? See how it's bracketed with that cloud flat and the man ups coming over the top with deep route KO to knock the ball out. It just makes that a really hard read to live on. Uh, and then another popular route combo this year for uh, trips tied in is is going to be the slant post concept now the slant post concept can be ran a couple of different ways uh one of the other things i would advise is unless they're running the ball a lot i would go ahead and pass commit when i was playing trip side in uh just to kind of take that away uh but again what you'll see here so we're going to pass commit so if they run play action we got a good chance at screaming at them uh, and then you have again your cross man again i would bring these guys down about to about the eight probably like seven to eight yards from the line of scrimmage. You have the cross mans, and then you have this outside third. Now this outside third, again, you could play games. That could be a, a soft squad, that could be whatever. Slant post is not terrible, uh, but the cross man, we're gonna kind of trust that cross man a little bit. And so what we wanna do is we want to essentially kind of hold and carry this up. We're gonna carry that tight end up. And by the time, you see, see how um, if they can't pick up that pressure, they're not going to be able to pass the ball, right? So, again, if I ever wanted to play a little bit more uh, coverage, another thing that I like to do is go to this Cover 3 Cloud. The only real adjustment that you need to make out of this Cover 3 Cloud is we are simply going to take this uh, linebacker on the left side and we're going to man him up on that number, that middle trips receiver. And then from there, honestly, like, you're pretty much fine. Um, you might want to put a hard flat over there on the left side with the cloud. Uh, you might want to put a vertical hook for the tight end post. This will actually play uh, this tight end post route relatively well. And then, you know, you can kind of like, you got the purple over here on the right for any kind of thing. So you see, I'll carry this and then I'll come back to this. And now if they throw in that pocket, that vert hook has a chance to play that. Again, if you click on, you're now in pretty decent position. So these are the kind of key ways that I like to defend trips tied in right now. Obviously, we go into a little bit more detail in the Patreon. So if you want to become a Patreon member, uh, just $10 will get you access to everything. And we teach you how to defend the best formations in the game, as well as all kinds of different random stuff uh, that we're seeing growing uh, in the online community.
community. So if you've not become a Patreon member yet, today would be a great day to do so. It's only $10 to do so, and it gets you access to all of our Madden 23 offensive and defensive eBooks. We just dropped a brand new blitz in the Patreon too. It's a four man uh, loop concept that from a formation that I don't see hardly anybody running. And we just dropped that uh, like 10 minutes ago. So if you wanna check that out, if you're a Patreon member, I'd really encourage you to go check that out. Uh, it should be in your inbox. And if you haven't signed up for it yet, 10 bucks, get you access to everything. Thanks for watching the video and uh, we'll see you guys over at the Patreon. You can sign up at the link in the description.